I am in Lawrence, Kansas today. We are about to go to the Lawrence Antique Mall on Mass Street. I've been there a couple times. I don't think I've taken y'all with me. If I have, it's been a while. So let's head on over and see what we can find. It was a beautiful sunny day and this place is on the busiest street in Lawrence. So it was definitely packed inside. I was able to grab some footage. I passed on the Rusty Ram because it was $20, but I did pick up the Deer Bell for $12.50. This vintage scorekeeper from a game was amazing. $17 on that display. And then the brass horse with the clock was only $18. That would have made a great DIY project. Loved the little vintage mushrooms little paperweight there and I am on the lookout for clocks these were $15 not anything extraordinary so I did pass and then y'all I found some black amethyst I think I'm going to start collecting some black glass now last time I was at this antique mall all these pieces were still there this is kind of telling me that the price on them might be a little high or they're not too special so I need to do a little more research I wish this scoop would have been maybe half the price and I would have picked it up. Y'all, this butter crock with the paddle and the lid still attached, only $45. I'm kind of regretting not picking that up. Drop me a comment. Let me know if you think I should go back for it. It's so pretty. The star strainers were about six to eight dollars, which was a little too high for resale. I love this box, thirty-five dollars. The lid on it is broken, but I would just remove that, probably hang it on the wall for storage. I went ahead and picked up the little donkey for $2. I love his eyeballs. I think I'm going to be doing a You Pick Ceramic Animals show coming up very soon. Set of three copper bed warmers. Great deal on those. I've had them before. They usually sit a while before they sell, so I left them behind. But I did grab these two fabulous Rusty Krusty baskets for $10. This is a shark from a local bar around here called the Shark Bar. Looks like um, somebody was having some fun, left it behind. So I left it for somebody else to find. These baskets were $15, which was a great price on them. It would have been a little closer to Christmas time with the red. I probably would have picked them up. The antique chicken crate, that is absolutely amazing. I did take a peek at these doilies, but they were too high for me. This one was $15, um, five, six dollars on the other one. So I did go ahead and pass.
I've had a request to start picking up more tins, but I'm having a hard time finding them at a good price. Stay tuned though, because one of these days soon, I'm gonna hit the jackpot for y'all. This old truck, $30, that beautiful teal, I'm obsessed. These shoe forms are stunning. I love all the patina on them. This one is $20 and this one is $12. I did go ahead and pass on them this time, but don't worry, I find one later on. I did pick up this piece of salvage wood at $12. I have a very specific project in mind for it. And this little tiny crock at $2.50 came home with me. Peeked at these pottery bowls. They're really pretty, but I did not pick up any today. I checked comps on this gobel plate. There wasn't a lot of room there for me and the rabbit looks kind of angry. I've got some gobel lamb that have been sitting for a bit. So I did go ahead and pass on this one. Drop me a comment and let me know if you think I made a mistake. I have also looked at this salt box before. It's still here. Um, it's got quite a bit of damage on it. So I pass on it, but always stop to admire it. And y'all, I've only been here a few times. It's been a while, so I'm not wondering if these vendors don't turn their inventory over super often. Score on the bunny pan. This definitely came with me for six. And then I spotted this clock. Look at this little beauty. The patina is amazing on it. Definitely grabbed it. Looks like it was $7.50. Lawrence Antique Mall has three levels. Let's head downstairs. A rabbit. A rabbit? I don't know. We're going to call it a rabbit. Copper chicken for a dollar. The books are a little high here for resale, but this little Peter Rabbit book was absolutely adorable. This old wood and metal tractor hub is so amazing. The rust, the green, the patina, it was $30. Definitely would be a great statement piece in your decor as a riser, a little plant stand. Had to admire it for a minute. I found a set of two chicks for $6. These definitely came with me. These glass mushroom were so cute, very delicate, so I was very careful with them. $15 on this small piece, just stunning. This case had so many fun little pieces in it, from the left in deer, the glass frog, love the little tiny chicks. It's so much fun to look in this one. I picked up this adorable pig gravy boat. 
had a couple little chippies off the face, but no worries there. And I also found some great wood pieces in the clearance room. $4 on this amazing tin cup. Went ahead and grabbed it and admired a few of these other canisters. Still just a little out of my price range. I did end up picking up this beautiful black sewing box and also this gorgeous chippy red can for only $6. I like these booths that are a hodgepodge of stuff because prices are usually a little cheaper when you find the vintage and antique items. I started digging through these little plastic totes and found a score on miniature critters. They cost between a dollar and two fifty. I found a sheep, a deer, and a quail, I believe. I loved these Schmid pigs with their little alcohol xxx bottles there there were a ton of pigs in this collection i really liked this bacon bag it was a little pricey at 15 but i did end up picking up the pig jingle bells that you spot up there i grabbed a two dollar black enamel cup and then around the corner found a couple of old decrepit thread spools for only 75 cents This little crock was $8, but it's so dark it looks black. I'm still wondering if it's just really dark brown or black, but I ended up grabbing it because I absolutely love black decor, so I will add it to my hutch. Years ago, I would have bought that. Thirteen on the pair of those coffee and tea. They're really pretty. All right, y'all. I just had to carry this thing down around the block and around the corner. Whew, we got it. We got it. All right, I've got my water. I grabbed a sugar-free monster and some decently healthy snacks. We're gonna hit the road back to Kansas City. And I figured we could run by by the pound. They don't close until 9 p.m. So let's do that. See if there's anything good left on a Sunday evening. By the pound is in Kansas City, Missouri. It is a thrifting outlet owned by DAV Thrift, which is a local place around here. Now, all the items that didn't get sold at the thrift store make it to this by the pound location where they are weighed and sold by weight. Glass and books are weighed separately from clothing and hard goods. So each location is going to be a little different, but it is definitely a less expensive way to do your thrifting. Books are only a dollar. I found this gorgeous black Methodist hymnal that is definitely coming with me. And this British wildflowers book has some gorgeous pictures. Now we will check the hard goods section. Y'all, I walked straight into three beautiful brass lamps. You know that I had to get all of them.
horse items resell very well for me so i definitely picked up this metal horse piece and i thought a little bit about these bookends one has a chip here but i did look them up they're worth a little bit of money since both were here i did go ahead and rescue them i found this beautiful large bowl with the built-in candle pillar holders a tiny little heart basket and then make sure y'all dig because here's a beautiful vintage bunt pan I finished up finding a couple of smaller blankets. Now let's go home, lay this stuff out and take a closer look at the haul. I think one of my absolute favorites from the Lawrence Antique Mall is this bunny mold. <laughs> Never seen one quite like it. I wonder, is it a Wilton? It is a Wilton, 1974. This one's a little bit, old. <laughs> a little bit older. What are you thinking of bunny? Rawr, rawr. <laughs> If you don't like the bunny. I got a ton of tiny ceramic animals and I already had some. So I think I'll do a you pick tonight with some ceramic critters, sheep, deer, some pigeons, a fun donkey. And I love the tail on the squirrel. It's fabulous. Little bunnies and chicks. Always down for critters. If you've been following me for any amount of time, you know I love to pick them up. And then a little bit of paper ephemera here. This is a poultry's eggs and cream receipt order. I'm not even exactly sure, maybe an order form. So great. The phone number is 75. <laughs> Wild, right? Tiny little crock was 250, 350. Great price on that little guy. It's got a little damage around the rim, but we love that. I have a DIY project in mind for this. We'll see if I have time before tonight. Otherwise, it'll go into Thursday's auction. And then this was a little place here locally in Independence. Sentimental Journey. They had a huge store full of beautiful collectibles. I did find some great little rusty, crusty treasures in a box kind of in their back room. Some fun latches and hooks. Trying to decide if I want to sell these as is or if I'm going to kind of keep them and do some DIY projects with them. So we shall see. I found this gorgeous clock at the Lawrence Antique Mall. I've had a request for clocks, so I'm hoping this one will be popular. It doesn't look like it appears to work any longer, but a really, really fun piece of decor. I found more piano rolls here at an antique store in Independence. Yes, these were really popular the other day. I kept a couple for myself, but now I have a few more to sell in case anybody missed out on them. I found a cast iron bottle opener that is shaped like a bird, so I'm sure that will be popular. I picked up some more clothespins, which always sell really well. And I absolutely love these two wire baskets. What do y'all think they used these for? There's two of them here. Um, they're connected with a little piece of wire. I think I'm going to separate them. I got a great price on this cabbage slicer. Also on this ginormous spool and little wooden brush. This one has some great patina. Looks like it's been used many a time over the years. And here's the stuff I got from the bins, the by the pound bins. Cute little heart basket. I found a few felted pumpkins. I pick things up out of season because they still sell really well on whatnot, even if they're not in season. So if I find a few cute things like that, then I'll snag them up. Since there were three of these, I did go ahead and grab them. I found a random little spring. We've been selling springs like crazy around here so i figured i could do a fun cute diy with those little leaf dish and this chain again diy project in the making this one is all like chippy and patina it'll be great to have in my stash i found four of these little baskets drop me a comment if you have any idea what these may have came off of i thought they would be fun to hang off of a project maybe Add a little nest or something. We shall see. Drop me a comment. What in the heck are these? I found a gorgeous green bunt pan and some magnolia bookends. 
I grabbed these three brass lamps. They are beautiful. I have been using a little bit of that oxidizing spray here. Um, let them sit overnight and now they are forming this amazing patina. So I will salvage these, chop these up here as soon as they are done drying. I found a few smaller blankets, not very large, but great colors, not worn out. So I did go ahead and pick them up. This gorgeous, huge wooden bowl has some built-in candle holders, but I also thought those would be fun to like put a nest or a bird or something on top of. So we'll sell that piece as is. I found a few books, some hymnals, some Bibles, and this wildflower book is just so pretty. All the little pictures in there. And then a little bit of greenery. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite item was from today's little antique slash bins haul. And be sure to catch the auction tonight, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, only on Whatnot.